Hello, my name is Kristina Kučerová. I'm from Czech Technical University in Prague and welcome to the presentation of our work on finding time-efficient trajectories for fixed-wing aircraft using Dubin's paths with multiple radii. In trajectory planning for fixed-wing vehicles, we need to consider a minimal turning radius to determine feasible trajectories. In this paper, we focus on minimizing the time needed to travel the path between two locations by extending the existing methods, which are computationally efficient. We want to increase the speed of the vehicle by using a larger radius and decrease time despite increasing the path length. As the baseline approach, we are using the Dubin's model with constant speed. We take advantage of the Dubin's model because it fulfills the curvature constraints. The Dubin's path is the shortest path computed between two configurations, where each configuration has a specific heading angle. The optimal solution is known to be three maneuvers, consisting of straight segment and circle segments, with minimal turning radius. Since each curve segment can have left or right direction, the number of combinations is six at total. The Dubin's path is also the fastest path when we consider the constant speed of the vehicle. To be able to decrease the travel time, we propose to enlarge the turning radii and thus introduce the multi-radius Dubin's path. This modification increases the speed on the curve. However, larger radius also increases the total length of the path. We need to find the trade-off between increasing the speed and increasing trajectory length to minimize travel time. We used only maneuvers with a straight segment in the middle, because CCC maneuvers are used in minority of cases when configurations are close together. The closed form expression exists for multi-radius path and the computation time is competitive to the original Dubin's path. To determine the travel time, a speed profile is computed based on motion constraints of the vehicle. We start the computation of the travel time estimation by setting the maximal speed on each segment based on the curvature, maximal vehicle speed and acceleration of the vehicle. We cannot set the maximum speed straight away because the forward acceleration is limited. With these limitations, we attempt to maximize the speed profile to find the shortest possible travel time. As a result, each segment may consist of up to three parts. Acceleration at the beginning, constant speed in the middle and acceleration at the end. The travel time can be computed using a two-phase algorithm with linear complexity using a closed form expression. This animation shows how the radius of the curve segment influences the speed profile. You can see the difference in speed up when the best maneuver type changes. The speed up is the ratio between travel time of the shortest path and the new path, both with speed increase on the straight segment. We will examine the speed up influenced by initial and final radius. The shortest trajectory is shown in red and also corresponds to red point in the right plot, where the xy axis represents the initial and final radii. Candidate trajectories are shown in green and also as white dots in the right plot. The fastest trajectory from these candidates is highlighted using the light blue color. When the heading angle changes, the optimal radii shift as well. The maximum speed up changes with it, hence the changing maximum value on the color bar. The discontinuity between colors on the right plot is where the maneuver type changes. This was the effect of changing the heading angle. We will now look at the radii usage based on distance with random heading angles. The highest speed up is achieved when the distance is approximately 4 times the minimum turning radius. At greater distances, the speed up is not as significant because of the long straight segment, where it is possible to increase speed to its maximum value even for the path with minimum turning radii. The average speed up would be higher at greater distance, approximately between 15 and 20 times the minimum radius. As the distance increases, larger radii are more frequently used. The radii were calculated using local optimization of the travel time estimation. Let's now sample the radii instead. Here we are inspecting the effectivity of the computation options. We compare local optimization method, denoted as Optim, with uniformly sampled turning radii. The results suggest that the uniform samples provide similar speed up as the local optimization. However, the computation of the uniform sampling is about 1000 times faster. To summarize our results, the proposed computation of multi-radius Dubins with specified radii is effective because a closed form expression exists. Furthermore, the proposed computation of travel time, called the travel time estimation, is also very effective because it is based on closed form expression. Using the proposed optimization of the turning radii, the travel time is decreased in comparison to the Dubins path with fixed radii. Notice, the speed up percentage is strongly dependent on neutral distance between the configurations. For future work, we aim to extend the method to consider more complex trajectories so the travel time would be closer to the optimum. Also, we would like to utilize the proposed method for multi-goal trajectory planning. Alternatively, the method could also be used in planning 3D trajectories. For further questions, please contact us. Thank you for watching.